Hello my little chicken wings. So in today's video I'm going to be sitting down and just chatting to you guys because as you would probably know I haven't really been that active on YouTube which has made me so sad. I honestly hate not uploading on here. I love it so much and I love connecting with you guys and I just feel like I've been really distant lately. So I'm on here to explain why because I love being open with everyone just because I think it shows that everyone is normal everyone goes through things and i don't know i feel like it's a nice reminder for people to you know know that people that you watch online even though their lives look so amazing that they go through stuff and it's okay so yeah that's pretty much what today's video is about oh, it's not that i haven't been myself it's it's like i feel like i was just going through a time in my life where i was changing and i was growing and i was just learning so much and just figuring out who I was and I was just feeling so lost at the time and I feel like I just needed a little bit of time to just put the brakes on, not post as much on YouTube because I don't want to be giving off bad vibes on YouTube. Every time I upload on here, I always want it to be like happy, uplifting things. I don't want to come on here and be negative all the time, but of course I'm going to open up and you know let you guys know all my struggles once I'm ready and once I've overcome those struggles so then I can educate you guys on how like Things will always get better and just advice that I have to give to you once I've learned how to deal with that problem. So yeah, I just felt like I need to really keep my private life private because I'm always really open on social media. Like with my breakup, I literally told you guys like everything. I put the whole thing online and I remember when we like broke up and then got back together and broke up, it was just like, it was so messy. So I was like, okay, I need to step back and just like, not that it was about that at all. But um, I need to step back and just like focus on myself and my happiness and my well-being before I even jump on YouTube. Um, so there's been so many different things. I guess the main thing which was really important was management. So for you guys that don't know, um, YouTube obviously is my job. And YouTubers get paid to like promote companies, to like put ads at the front of their video. There's... There's a lot of different ways that YouTubers get paid and also on Instagram and everything. So having a manager is super important so they can like, you know, send the invoices, organize the deals and all of that stuff that you guys probably wouldn't even think of. But it honestly takes so long. So um, Jonathan used to be my manager and obviously breaking up and everything. It just I just felt like it was the best thing to just separate that completely from my work just because I feel like work is so important and I just didn't want to jeopardize it at all. So I was like, okay, I think it's time that we both move on from that chapter of management. I just didn't think it was really healthy. So um, I then went over to someone else and then someone else and then someone else. And it was just so hard to find the right manager and for someone to be able to do what I wanted them to do. And I don't know, there's so many different things that kind of were involved in it, but it was really hard going from different manager to different manager because you always have to explain everything a million times and how you work and who you want to work with and at the same time being organic and only promoting things that I absolutely love and want to share with you guys. So yeah, it was really hard and I got really stressed and I had all this work built up and it's just things that you guys would never think of because you obviously don't see behind the scenes of like, you know, promotions and everything. But yeah, that took a massive toll on me because I hate disappointing like people that I work for. And then the thing that I hate the most is that if I'm stressed, I feel like I can't give you guys what you want, which is me being happy and bubbly and just making different videos and being super like creative and all of that. So that was put on hold um, because management was just all like, ooh, it was really messy. I'm so sorry, my camera just died. Um. So yeah, moving on from all of the management stuff, because obviously that isn't exciting to you guys, but that took up took up a lot of my time because I was doing a lot of things by myself and it's just, it's really hard. There's a lot of work on social media, trust me. You guys just don't see the boring things, the behind the scene, scene things. You just see like what I bring out to you, which is the end product, which is obviously the best part for you guys and the most fun part for me. Um, so the next thing that's been distracting my little brain is uh, uh, I'm coming out with my own brand very soon and I am so excited to say the least you guys literally I don't think you'd be able to guess even if you tried so if you have any idea 
make sure you leave it down in the comments so yeah i've been working on that for at least a year now and over the past few months is when it's really been like getting taken off the ground and a lot of work has been put into it and a lot of just a lot of crazy business decisions and i've just learned so much that I never thought I would learn in my life. I never thought how hard it would be to run a business and all of that type of stuff. Like, they don't teach you that stuff in high school. So I had no idea. Like, going into this, I literally was like, what am I even doing? I'm like a 21-year-old and I don't have any sort of experience in creating my own business. So this has been a massive journey for me. I've definitely learned that some people can not have the best intentions and can take advantage of you so I don't know that's been really hard because it's when you work with people so close in your life it's just like I don't know it's just like you should probably always keep business and um, personal life completely separate because it does get really messy and that's what's happened and I've, it's taken a massive toll on me so that's um, another thing that I've learned over the past few months yeah but if you guys can guess what it is you have to write in the comments below because i'm so excited to see what you guys think it is it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be out really soon like really really soon so you guys have to keep your eyes peeled make sure you follow me on instagram at shiny groom because i feel like that's where it's gonna be released first like that's where you guys are gonna get like hints and everything so it's gonna be a massive deal and it's gonna be my baby it's i i will talk about it obviously in more detail soon but this is something that I'm just so excited to do and put all of my effort into this and I know you guys are gonna love it so it's gonna be amazing another thing that I've realized over the past few months my comfort level is literally like this small like it's very I don't like to go out of my comfort zone and make myself feel uncomfortable and I feel like that's what you need to do to grow as a person and I've definitely learned that over the past few months because there's been so many uncomfortable situations that I've been put in where I'm like okay you really just have to speak up and tell people how you feel otherwise no, nothing's ever going to get resolved nothing's ever going to be exactly how you want it to be so and that's definitely been a massive thing with like the brand that I'm coming out with and like um, like management and everything it's like you really just have to speak up and be as transparent as possible even with friends like with family anything just speak your mind and tell people how you feel it makes things so much easier in the long run at the time it is so hard to be you know completely open and everything but in the long run the truth is going to come out anyway so it's best to just tell people how you feel trust me it's a lot easier I've learned the hard way I know it may be hard to kind of understand like what I'm saying in terms of like things that I'm going through but I'm obviously trying to keep things as like professional and like as private as possible but being able to give you guys like an insight of what's kind of been going on in my head and my life and also to be able to let you guys like learn from everything that I'm kind of saying without being like okay so this is what happened on this day and this is what happened on this day this person betrayed me and this person's a bitch so that's pretty much what's happening <laughs> another thing that's been so so hard for me is oh, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about this I guess I'll just like ask this person and like when I'm editing it all we'll see but someone in my family has been going through a really hard time and it's just it's made me realize like people that have a mental illness like you know depression anxiety or anything like that like a lot of these people find it really hard to like want to help themselves I feel like sometimes you know, if you're, if you play a, a big role in their life, I feel like it's really important to give them that little push because I guess being the person with that anxiety or depression, you literally, you feel like the world is against you. I guess just at the end of the day, just try your best to be there for your friends and family if they are going through like a mental illness and stuff, because there's definitely been a lot of people in my life over the past few months that, I mean, they've had depression for so long and it's like, now I okay, can like okay they're not doing anything to help themselves so now I'm going to try my best to push them in the right direction and that's what I've been doing over the past few months so that's obviously been really hard on me as well um you know seeing someone you love in such a dark place and that's something that I've kind of like grown up with and it's really hard it's so weird because like when I think about it I don't like when I think about it to myself or when I talk about it to someone, I never get upset. But it's like when you talk about it to a camera and you know that so many people are going through the same thing, it's like really hard. But I just want you guys to know that if you are going through anything, you're definitely not alone. Um, so yeah, that's another thing that has taken a bit of a toll on me. But nothing is more important to me than friends and family being happy and healthy. I feel like after everything that's happened recently, 
I've learned who my true friends are, my, you know, people in my life that I trust. And I've just, I've just learned so much stuff. And I feel like the only way to be educated in life is to be going through stupid shit, like learning from your mistakes. I feel like that is the easiest way to learn. I guess another thing that I want to touch on is after being in a relationship and then in another relationship, it's like, I feel like I've never actually been on my own and being like super independent in my personal life. I feel like I am quite independent in my like business life and like everything online because I have started from the bottom and I did get to where I am today on my own. Like I created this whole brand on my own, which I'm so incredibly proud of myself for doing. But when it comes to like my personal life, I feel like I'm always kind of like relying on someone for like emotional support. Which, you know, is fine, but I think there's like a line where you need to know that at the end of the day, you're the only person that's going to like truly never leave your side and always have the best intentions for is yourself. You know what I mean? My next step is to make sure that I don't rely so much on other people. Um, yes, it's good to have close friends. It's so important to have close friends and family and or be open with them and stuff. But you want to be happy within yourself before you can even love anyone else. And I think that's what I want to work on personally. Just being on my own and just, just being happy with like being like that. It's just so crazy how you feel like so many things can come crashing down at once and it's just so hard. But you need to know at the end of the day that you can handle it. You just have to be strong and just do one thing at a time and eventually it'll be all sorted. Don't just run and hide from it all because I definitely did do that for a little while because things were just way too overwhelming and I finally knuckled down and got everything done. Now most things are sorted and I'm so much more happy and now I feel like I can focus more on what is important to me which is like communicating with you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm like just so relieved. My life is like a lot more sorted in terms of like business and like personal life and stuff. Um, what else has been happening? Yeah, I mean, I still did get a few videos up for you guys. Like I didn't just leave, I, I was, I'm still here, just not as consistent as I'd like to be. And I'm really hard on myself on that because I do like to be as active as possible. And I know you guys love that as well. So I'm probably just being super dramatic, but I like to work really hard. And if I don't, I beat myself up about it. So it just like puts me in this bad headspace. Um, so yeah, I did go see a naturopath and um, yeah, there's a lot of things that I kind of need to change in my life to be a little bit more healthy. I've got some, um, some like liquid stuff that I have to drink every morning and it helps my anxiety because I did get it yesterday for the first time in a while and it was so annoying. I haven't had it like that before. I just, it's so crazy when anxiety just come and go, like comes and goes at the most random times. And sometimes it's not even triggered by anything. It just like wants to come and say, hey, like, hello, how are you going? So annoying. It was crazy when I got the anxiety. It was like so much insecurity. And it's so not like me because most of the time <clears throat> I'm super confident with everything. So it's really weird to just like all of a sudden wake up and just be like scared to talk to people or to feel crappy about myself. It's not something that I'm used to, so I don't really know how to handle it. So I just completely shut everything out and I'm like, fuck, like I'm going into my little bubble right now and it's just, it's not healthy at all. So um, I definitely do want to see someone about my anxiety because it does come and go when it wants to and it's really frustrating. It doesn't deserve to be my life. And when I was speaking to the naturopath, she's like, if there's nothing you can change, how do I say this? So I guess what she said was, Anxiety can be triggered by things and that can be controlled and the anxiety that isn't triggered by things can't be controlled so don't stress about it. Well, no, not don't stress about it because you can't say that to someone that has anxiety. Just don't worry about it. Don't even worry. Don't be depressed or don't be anxious. Not that I have depression, but you know what I mean? Like you can't just tell someone to not be anxious or depressed. Like it doesn't work like that. But to just understand that the things going on in here, most of it just isn't real. It's just your mind playing tricks on you and like all the anxiety for me is just like all up here it's all in my brain it's just me overthinking it's me thinking of scenarios scenarios that are literally never going to happen and yeah i think i just need to learn how to like reboot this brain when i have anxiety and it's super hard so that's why i do want to go see someone and kind of get some strategies on what to do when i get it and when it's triggered and stuff i don't know it's not like a massive problem for me definitely does come sometimes but 
I'll keep you guys updated on um, what happens when I go speak to someone, but I'm really nervous about it because you pretty much have to like unload your whole life on someone to be able to like pinpoint where the anxiety started. Most things actually are triggered by a childhood, so that's something that you kind of have to like dig really deep to like figure out what it is and just like teach yourself not to think like that. The most important thing is to know that what you see online is only highlights of people's lives. It's not always cafe photos, beach photos, I'm so happy photos, you know. It's not always like that. So just know that we're all in the same boat here. Let's be nice to everyone. We all go through shit. And even though I'm not able to say exactly what I went through, just know that we all go through stuff. That's pretty much all I have to say. And no, I'm not uploading for no reason at all. I just want to give my best self to you guys and all my positive energy and just give that to you. So that's why I just need to reassess myself, put myself in a good position so I can give that to you. Because if I'm in a negative headspace and everything's crazy in here, it's, it's just it's going to show in a video. So there we go. I felt like I've really found myself recently and a lot has changed my life. I have no routine. I have to go home. I'm at Chloe's right now. I'm in Melbourne. I'm like, I need to go. There's so many meetings I've been to and stuff, but I'm like, I need to get out of Brisbane, even though I was home for literally a week. And I just felt like I needed support from Chloe because she's my best friend. She's been my best friend since I was grade five. Um, I just needed someone super close to me to just, you know, bring me back. I'm back. I've always been here. I've just been super stressed and shit's been happening as I said, but yeah, I love you guys so much. And yeah, there's gonna be some different videos on my channel. I'm super excited. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.